Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to math class. Today, you have a guest teacher, and so we're going to do your journal, your board work together. So you should have already had a chance to write some things down. So here we go. We're going to go over them. Number one. Two times eight is 16. Eight times two is 16. 16 divided by two is eight, and 16 divided by eight is two. Number two. Seven times four times eight. We're going to multiply in any order. So first what we're going to do is start with four and seven. Seven times four, seven, 14, 21, 28, 28. So I'm gonna rewrite the problem. 28 times eight. Well, now I'm gonna use the break apart strategy. Break, break, break it apart. Pass, pass, pass it out, right? So we have 20 times eight. Plus eight times eight. Go ahead and make sure that your paper is looking like mine. And if you have any questions, raise your hand and the guest teacher can turn things off and, or pause this and then answer your questions. All right, two times eight. Two times eight is 16. Zero times eight is zero, the zero property. Plus eight times eight is 64. Don't forget to shut the door. So we break, break, break it apart. Pass, pass, pass it out. Multiply, then add. Multiply, then add. So we're gonna add these together. So 160 plus 64. Zero plus four is four. Six plus six is 12. Put down a two and carry the one. One plus one is two. 224. So now that we have 224, now we have to go back and think about our problem. Seven times four was 28. And then 28 times eight, we broke it apart. And our final answer is 224. Now, does that make sense? It does. If we took the number 28 and we added it eight times, we would get 224. Number three, 8,000 minus 5,977. Zero cannot take away seven. So we're going to go all the way to the thousands. Change the eight to a seven. The zero becomes a 10, then a nine. This one becomes a 10, then a nine. And this one becomes a 10. 10 minus seven is three. Nine minus seven is two. Nine minus nine is zero. And seven minus five is two. 2023. So if I'm using this as the date problem, I have a two for February and it is gonna be February the third. So I made a mistake and multiplied by four, but oh well, you'll forgive me. And then the third problem is the year 2023. And if you're seeing this and it's not February, but this is a repeat just so you can have some extra practice with fact families, distributed property and subtracting, then thanks for playing along with us today. All right, if you have any questions, please raise your hand and ask your teacher. Thanks so much and see you soon.